Now, I wasn't sure what to say about this puppet from SM Mark. If you've never heard who that person really is or his channel, he's part of the most well known cartoon uh, critic in the cartoon community, but he not just do cartoons, he does a little bit different genres, just start critiquing his own ideas, what he actually felt. Usually he said of negative, and the fact is so ironic that sometimes he complained people do not watch his videos that he, when he's actually positive. And that's just sort of ironic, I'm just, I, I thought it's kind of hilarious. But besides that, he actually trying to make this pilot about me four or five years he was talking about if you've seen his twitter account or his youtube account once in a while he does talk about it but today like a day ago he finally dropped his pilot called catching up and this pilot is sort of hard to say anything because this wasn't terrible it was actually kind of endearing but the only problem is this pilot doesn't feel like a Pilot, it feels like a short, and that is not an insult. It's the fact I, when I finished this pilot, I didn't know what to say because it wasn't terrible. Is that it almost felt is an idea that it should be a short than a pilot. A pilot sort of leaned into uh, this is a grander story, and I'm just showing the idea of the pilot, the idea of everything and that's the problem it kind of doesn't because it because i think how the story is sort of structured because you do follow two main leads one is clay the other is rob clay is sort of the wolf who he is on his teenage life he won't be left alone he has sort of trust issues he doesn't kind of communicate he overthink things in fact he was sort of invited by his friend i guess who is very naive, very happy, this mouse called uh, uh, Rob, I think, and Rob invites Clay to join him. And Clay, he's so negative, like he won't go, till his mother kind of forced him to go out with him to this certain club that he's technically paying to go in. And the whole point of this party is how Clay kind of uh, trying to understand Rob saying, this is a bad idea, you are too tr trust, uh, trusting and people would use you. And they actually go in the club, They some girls convince them to hold them to their jackets. The very end, you know what, Clay was right, Rob's finally stand up himself and just stop being, what he, trying to be gullible now. And that's basically it. But the only problem is, it just feels like a short. I mean, I'm not trying to be negative here because Ne negative criticisms doesn't add anything to the conversation. It's just, oh, I think the whole short or whole pilot was boring, and that's it. Like, I can complain, but it doesn't really make sense to me because this one felt it could be maybe a series, but I sort of struggle to see the ideas. Like, when you see a pilot, that will convince you to see what's coming next because this whole pilot, it was boring but relatable and i think that was sort of the whole point because this pilot uh catching up falls to the journal of slice of life and nothing completely wrong with that you could have easily fall into that genre but there is one major problem is the two main lead characters needed more time to talk with each other like what is their basic main talk? Something like Dan Versus. Dan Versus is a crazy cartoon, but the most focus is a dialogue of the two main leads, uh, Dan and his best friend. And you get intrigued of the dialogue because how Dan is sort of kind of narcissistic and his best friend, you could say he's sort of a punchy bag or the character reacts to Dan, but he is sort of the person who kind of make sure Dan understand the situation, what kind of things we're going into. And that's what they make it so interesting of that show. Another one good example of Ed and Eddie. That whole show, the only crazy thing they do is run away from the Kanker sisters because they're basically their bullies. But the intrigue is the three main characters 
conversation. How one reacts to the other, the situation. Two people talking, the other reacts or say something in between to make you understand or wake you up in the conversation, even if you think it's a tad boring. But it works so well, all three characters are so distinct and balance each other so well. But uh, close uh, catching up, Pilot, it kind of fails a little bit of that because the two main leads are not, I want to say, boring. It needed more jokes, and Mark does not really write good jokes. So, like, he can easily hire other writers to help him to give it more punch, and that's all he really needs. Or maybe add a third act, a third character to basically give the conversation more intrigue. This is why this is the reason why slice of life cartoons always try to add three characters. Two characters be fine, but three characters make the pacing more easier, more intriguing, because one says something, the other, one, the other reacts to it, the other one does something else to just grab your attention. If the two um, two main leads are talking, the other one does something to just distract to you if you feel the conversation is boring. And that's how it kind of works. And I think that's sort of the problem of this pilot. The two main leads are fine, but it needed more conversation, more conversation, something interesting or add a third character, sort of making commentary or being sort of sassy. This is the reason why sassy or sarcastic characters of a three slice of life character or, or show make it more interesting because the boring side moments could make it more interesting. Or try to be like Miyazaki, make it kind of kind of quiet moments more relatable. That can work too. I'm guessing maybe Mark wanted to do the of this pilot, but yeah, it doesn't really work. Once more, this is it's a pilot. It's not perfect, but yet I did enjoy it. But I have to admit, it does have the flaws to kind of drag it down. Yeah, I'm not surprised people really enjoyed it or really thought this is boring. One, the other, or both. You, I'm like in between. I kind of did enjoy it, but I was a little bored with it. But also, I'm kind of surprised all the characters start cussing because the art does not complement the writing it attempted to do. I mean, the visual vibe of the art, that sort of mundane feeling kind of works, but it started cussing, it kind of throws me off. kind of make me ask, who are you aiming at? Of teenagers, that's fine. But you have to make it more different art style or change the art style to complement the writing. Or do a joke to to wake up the audience is a sort of dirty joke or a cuss joke to make you understand what you're going into. Because when they start cussing, this later in the whole pilot, not the very beginning, and that's a sort of the shocking part, yeah, I was like, maybe you should hold the cussing for more important moments than actually more like a conversation. Remember, depends on what type of pilot and what type of audience you aiming at, that actually could work or not work. It depends on the pilot or genre you fall into. I think one of the biggest examples is sort of regular show that if that show started cussing, I would not not be offended or unreact to it because how the characters talk, how they communicate, and how the world is built, it kind of makes sense they actually cuss because that sort of meant kind of for adults, but they just cut all the language and just substitute like your turd or your punk. It still works. Even have this sort of symbolism of being wings as alcohol to the characters. That's why every weekend they hang out sort of the wing bar, not a word. Just a sort of clever situation to put them to pretend to be drinking. And that's the thing. And this one feels they want to be adultish or realistic, but the cousin doesn't really work because sometimes you don't need cussing after they do and that's okay if you do want cussing i mean not a good example is happy tree friends that is just super adorable uh characters do you think it's sort of for kids for little toddlers to someone get ripped to pieces and you see all the gore 
But the hilarious, yes, because you unexpected, and that was sort of the joke. And this pilot catching up, trying to do cussing like that in a way, but trying to wake you up, but it doesn't feel right. Like, there are some moments, okay, that works. Other moments feels out of place. And one of those things that, it, it has some issues, but once again, it is a pilot. It could be better. Now, the art was good. That's all I can say. I mean, I could want to be negative here. I feel the art doesn't work with the writing, but I get the situation you're trying to put him. But once more, this is a pilot you're trying to sell. The art will change again to benefit the writing, what Mark trying to do. Because sometimes you have to realize, you have to make sure the writing fits the art. It, it's something super obvious. Or maybe you're not sure because this still is a pilot. You're still experimenting, changing. Also wondering what to do with it. Because the art is it's decent. It's good. But it's not really eye-catching that I can easily forget this actually exists. Because it doesn't feel nothing that unique but it's efficient what he tries to do in fact i'm not surprised that no one even want this if they wanted it they would ask him yeah you have to change the art you have to make it more poignant more punchy so was, or hire a artist to redraw all the characters just to make that visual distinct you need that one thing just to really stand out like the symptoms the famous yellow color because the yellow color does really stand out. Being the just the normal art stuff, just having normal colors like a human skin, that will not really stand out and give you that visually flair you're looking for. Just a FYI, that's the sort of complaints I have watching this party. But to be fair, I did enjoy it. I did like the ending. I did like how you are related to at least one or both characters like Clay, I can relate to him. I understand. I was a teenager overthinking things, sort of scenarios that not be overthinking this. In fact, you could also be uh, the mouse that forgot his name for a second, Ray. You could be also like him or know someone like him that being naive, trying to grow up, trying to be cool, but very nice, not realizing being used by other people, and finally growing up, you seen that, you being that, you seen some friends, that scenario. And I think that's why it's sort of the strength of the pilot. It's just one of the things that I'm not sure anyone would want to pick this up while doing a lot of changes. But all of that, I feel this would be a good web series, but I'm not sure it would be a very popular web series. Something like Digital Circus, or Monkey Ranch, or uh, any other indie party, like uh, Pieces of Potter. Like, Pieces of Potter is not popular, but little by little you're realizing it has its own fans, and it's working for it. And that's the thing. But I don't know you. How you felt about this? Do you think they need to change the art style or rewrite some things? Or you think it's it's good, it's fine, it doesn't need anything? It depends on your opinion. It depends if you understand this is meant for selling for other companies or making a whole show. You have to really rely on the writing. And that's the thing. I don't know Mark can actually pull that off every single episode because... This sort of tilted off to the second episode. It all depends on the second. And he can pull off the second, the same thing he did the first episode, or actually better in the first episode, he got it. That simple. But the only problem is he doesn't. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm being too negative. Not doesn't. It's like, what if? Not nah, words. Like, yeah, that's the thing I've never felt this could be a true series. It'd be a good short. It feels like a short because it doesn't really give you the whole idea in your own hands. It's like you watch a party, you could see the future, you could see on your own mind, build the scenarios. Watching this, I never feel I can build the scenarios or build what if or understand the character's motivation because it feels like a short, not yet fully. Uh, a short, they have an idea they wanted to use for an episode 
or they realize this is not good enough for a show, but I want to do it because I feel I have something here to show off. And that's it. This is the reason why I'm saying this feels like a shirt than a party. A party will give you the idea, the motivation. Everything connects to see what happened to next episode. But what's more? That's the little things I'm trying to explain. But in the end, it's still a good pilot. Not amazing, but good. Hoping you can see maybe a second episode to finally submit it. This could be a series, but I feel it's more like a web series than anything else. Hopefully I'm not that negative, but the, the only thing I have left to say is I enjoy it. That's it. That's that's the only thing. What do you think? Tell me down below. Let me know. I got nothing else to say. Just thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.